Hello everybody and welcome back to Tech the Entertainment Kit. Um, today in real life is the 22nd and it's the first day that uh, Game Freak has started giving out these mystery gifts for uh, everyone playing the game. So the first thing I want to do in this episode of our Pokemon Sword and Nuzlocke playthrough is to go ahead and get our mystery gift because while I'm playing the Nuzlocke, that's a free encounter every week. We get I think they're doing five weeks of it or something like that. Or it might be every day of a week. I don't I don't I don't fully remember. But I'll just check back off and even when I leave uh even when I leave and go and I'm not actually playing but have these videos going live, I'll go ahead and still so we got a Galarian Mr. Mime with the hidden ability. But we'll also uh go ahead and get the um item set. Uh, I'll try and make sure I get the ones that come in while I'm gone, if there are any, uh, just to make sure that we get them all, because I don't want to miss out on any of them. I believe these started yesterday, which was Friday the 21st. So, yeah, Lure Ball, Heavy Ball, Moon Ball, Dream Ball. So there we go, we got Mystery Gifts. Now, back on to our finals tournament fight. Are we fully ready and prepared? Looks like we are. Rion, yep, we put, yep, yep, ice in front. Ice in front to deal with his uh, dragon types, I think, unless he throws a dragon fire type. Even that won't, <laughs> actually that won't go well either. Oh boy. Alright, you know what? We'll just stick with it. Let's see. What's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is I have to train a bunch of Pokemon at the end of this fight. That's what's the worst that could happen. We're going to try not to, though. We're going to try and get through this without uh, Raihan. I seriously can never pronounce these guys' names, but um, yeah, we're going to do our best to not lose anybody in this fight. I'm not the same Raihan that he faced before that I faced we faced together, all of us. Anyway, all right, here he goes. Whoever wins this fight gets to uh, fight Leon. Torkoal. That's a Torkoal. That's not even a dragon. Huh, not bad. Changing the weather to hail like that. Drought. Oh, look at that. Now it's no longer hailing and it's sunlight. Uh huh. Okay, so since you have drought, your fire. I think we go into Guzma, which evidently would have been the better starting point. <sighs> oh boy. Oh boy, Lava Plume. We eat it. We're alright. We're not retreating yet. Uh, what's going to be more effective? Probably this and its stab. We're faster. Good. Otherwise we were going to be retreating. That should be four times. Why isn't it four times? It's going for the yawn. So we fall asleep next turn. Uh, liquidation again. High roll. Crit. Give me crit. Give me crit or high roll. Crit or high roll. Come on. This isn't good. Defense fell. He's using Solar Beam. He doesn't need to charge. He just gets to shoot it out. We're weak to grass, which means this might be the end of Guzma. Oh no. Oh, oh, it's not grass. Emergency exit kicks in. Good on you, Guzma. Um, I think we drop Pam out to replace him. Ooh. All right, now we can use, let's just EQ. He's full restoring, but the EQ should still take him out because, uh, well, because I said so. Let's see, <laughs> let's see if I'm right. Yeah, of course I am. Okay, Ooh, EQ. Pam's 59.
Is Gudra water in Dragon? Oh, I actually don't know. I think we stay in with Pam. I, I think there's no way that we get one shot here. And I don't think we outweigh much, so I'm gonna go with Super Power. Yeah, Rain Dance. Get the rain going for me. I'm actually kind of scared right now. I don't know how this is going to go. All right, super power. Not super effective. We dropped our attack stat and our defense stat, which isn't ideal. We'll go for a mega kick. Muddy water. So yeah, I think it is water and dragon. Oh, Pam. Pam. Okay. Um, Muddy Water is not physical. I don't think that he does anything that's going to be able to handle ice very well. So let's send in ice. He's probably going to go for another Muddy Water. We're going to change the weather now. Let's get it hailing. Muddy Water, that's going to be weakened, weaker now because it's no longer raining. We resist. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're going to go for probably an Ice Punch, I think. Hail Hurts the Gudra. Yeah, let's go. I think just one Ice, ice, um, um, um. One ice Punch should do it, even though she's going to make it rain. She? I don't know. Gudra there. Oh boy. Come on, Ice Punch. Gudra's out. So he's probably going to send out an answer. Yeah, of course he is. Turtonator. Turtonator is a good answer for Ice. Um good answer for ice that we don't really have a good answer <laughs> in return for. Um, maybe we do. Maybe we do. Leon is fire. We'll resist the fire moves. Is not dragon, but has a dragon move. Sunny day. Boost both of us up. Have I got a plan to counter it? Yeah, I'm using a fire type. But we're going to hit it with Dragon Breath. What's he going to do? Of course, he's going to Shell Trap. There's nothing we can do about the Shell Trap. But it didn't work because this isn't a physical attack. So he's going for a Shell Trap again. Which means we win automatically with our Dragon's Breath. Good job, Leon. Good job. All right, now does he have an answer for Leon? Probably. Flygon can have Ancient Power. All right, Flygon's probably going to go for the Ancient Power here. So I think we go back into Ice. Because it's a Ground Dragon, I believe. So we go back into Ice for the Ice-type move. Of course, Grass is just neutral. Uh, yep, get the Ice going again. He wants a sandstorm instead. That's fair. Because that's what I've noticed is Rion's going to use a setup move and on his first turn with each of the Pokemon, which gives me an opening to swap out safely. So Ice is going to get hurt a little bit by the sandstorm. Not a big deal. We are going to... We're going to try and hit a blizzard here, I think. Oof! Please hit. Goodbye, Flygon. Okay. His last Pokemon's gonna be Duraludon, and if we have to swap out of from Ice, we can always go back into Leon.
Did we forget Blizzard for- no. We can't use Ingrain anyway, so we'll just swap Ingrain for Sheer Cold. Leon's level 60 now. Very nice. We're buffeted by the Sandstorm. I think we can use... He's gonna G-Max here. What can he have that could really hurt me? I think we're just gonna hope Ice survives one hit. G Max, he's faster. Oh, that's not good that he's faster. I mean, he's Steel and Dragon, right? So the chances of him actually like having something that's going to hurt us for the rest of our HP is low. Um, we're also pretty bulky, especially with our Assault Vest on. So I think we'll be all right. This is scary. This is actually like the most frightening battle I think I've ever been in. Right here, because there's... I'm seeing what's gonna happen, but I don't see a way around it. And that's more terrifying than getting knocked out or close to knocked out by something I didn't predict. So, here's the question. What does he have? Rockfall. Okay. Wait. Why was that super effective? Rock's not super effective. Oh boy. And we don't want to go into that. Do we go into Tim, use a turn to heal up Pam? No, we're pretty bulky ourselves. I think we just in general go for the revenge here. Do we try and survive? I think... I think... I just clicked on the wrong mon. We're okay though, we ate that. Try that again on Pam, not Ice, please. Steel spikes should be fine. It is stab though, Ooh, Tim. Sandstorm subsided just in time. We survived through all of the attacks. Okay. I think now is the perfect time to swap into Pam because he's no longer Gigantamax. Tim, you did a great job getting Pam healed up and trying to heal up Ice. I know, we miss him. Her, we miss her already. Ice. Dragon Claw, stab, not super effective. Stamina's gonna raise the defense. Good luck with that. I think Pam actually was the ace for the last time we did this, but this time we're gonna superpower because I think the superpower should one-shot here. You're just gonna hurt yourself again. Raise my defenses some more. Superpower! Oh, we didn't finish it. Our defenses dropped one, our attack dropped one. I think we can afford an EQ. He's just gonna body press again. I think he's gonna knock himself out with this body press and the EQ is not gonna do anything. Metal Burst. It's a physical, retaliates with much greater force against an opponent that last inflicted damage on it. You're not physical though, bud. You're really not.
And I like having Breaking Swipe and Dragon Claw as their individual moves. I like to have the dark coverage. I don't think we're gonna learn Metal Burst. I, I just, I can't see us using it. I just can't see us using it. Okay. Yep, Challenger Tim does seize victory. At the cost of ice. Okay, victory. Now it's time to battle Leon. Big moment's finally here. I came to cheer you on, you know. It's still not easy picking sides after all the showdowns between my big brother and my rival. Who should I really want to see more? I want to win more. What? What? Right, you reckon I should cheer for Tim too, don't you? Couldn't agree more after all. We did start this thing out together and way back in Pothwick. So you better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone can beat the unstoppable champion, blah, 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 blah. What? His Intelodon is just like, what? 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 <sighs> can we go to boxes? Yes, we can. Ice. You were my grass type. Why do I always lose my grass types? Oh, that's so bad. This is bad. Okay, held item. Put it back in my bag. <sighs> Swap Pokemon. No. No, I didn't go in the boxes. gonna swap you and you all right um all right I think boy goes on in ice's place we lose our ice type but I think we're done with dragons for now don't don't release ice Look at this, it's in order too. Just goes up. Oh, well, I guess not here. <laughs> um, oh boy. Okay, do I have candies? This is the question now. Give him that. We'll move him to the back of the team. We're not going to be able to, hopefully. <sighs> I'm honestly second guessing even putting him on the team right now. Because what if we have to sacrifice him? And if we have to do a sacrificial, I think Chucky's our sacrifice. All right, I'm nervous about it. Oh, whoa, buddy. There we go. All right, let's hope we can do this 5v6. Wait, I actually don't think we even fight Leon right now, do we? I think this is the one that gets interrupted. I think we get interrupted right here. Right as we're about to take him on and become the champion. No, we're taking him on. 
Oh, whew. Whew. That's actually good. They're dens all over. <sighs> Let's go, Leon. You and I, we can fix this. Let's go. Maybe I'll, I might do one more tournament afterwards, too. Just like a genuine tournament that's not, uh, not, um, scripted, I guess? Because this one's very scripted. You, you, you always got everything, like, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go to the Slumbering Wheel, I guess. We're going to get a couple of encounters. We're going to train up boy, our boy. I'm not going straight there. Yeah, I am. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Stuff's going real bad, real, real good, real bad. Real bad, real good. Lots of bads happening. Oh, take three max revives with you in case your Pokemon faint. We're in a Nuzlocke. When they faint, they die. There is no in case. <sighs> I'm still upset about Ice. He's so cool, dude. Ugh. Why is he weak to rock? It must be... <sighs> I thought grass resists rock. Dude, everything I know is a lie. And I literally can't even turn around, but... Here we have an encounter. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be a trade is what it's gonna be. Rookadee's on nerve. Alright, we'll just, I mean, let's be real, we're just gonna quick ball it. It's a level three, we already have one and we're gonna be immediately trading it away. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the amount of XP everyone just gained was hilarious. Send it to a box. I think we might have been looking at the death box. Let me walk out into this grass. Let me check my boxes real quickly. Boxes. Nope, we're good. There he is. Trade. Um, we're gonna trade him. Connect to the internet. Because it'll just sit there forever if I'm not connected to the internet. Surprise trade. Trade. Go. Goodbye. Yep. Alright, we'll keep on moving. Woof. That's Gigantamax Charizard right there. Do you guys see that? Sending trade to Juanji. Okay. All right. Yeah, I can roll with a hit on top. Little dancy boy. Uh, yeah. I mean, he doesn't have a nickname now, which is unfortunate. But let's look. Let's look at our encounter of Hitmontop. 
Let's check his summary. Pure fighting. Uh, ooh, technician on this guy. Which means, like, triple kick is going to be really good. Uh, eh. Eh. I mean, these two are, yeah, but triple kick and tackle are both going to be super good. He's not going to go on the team right away. He does need to have his nickname changed. However, There, like that. I think that's pretty close. These two don't quite fit in here yet, but that's looking good. So each of these is a team layout, basically. Um, in case one mon dies, I swap them to the one that's there. Um, oh, and now I wanted to look at, uh, I think it's already over. Well, whatever. Let's go. We don't have an encounter here. We don't have an encounter until we enter into the next area. Oh. Boy, a squovet. I sure do hope I can handle that. I'm actually surprised I never ended up with a squovet. There's nothing else that way. Nope. Get on the bike. Ride down here. Nothing to pick up. Nothing to pick up. Okay. We gotta go through this next area. Oh. Um, I don't think we've entered the next area yet, have we? Yeah, no. It's still the same. Same slumbering wield. Uh, um, oh, well, I didn't really want to fight you, Galarian coughing. Er, wheezing. Did not really want to fight you. But, we can run. I couldn't get away. It's toxic. This is actually getting scary now. Let me go. Run. Why? Yeah, it's gonna be badly poisoned too. Run. Thank you. That was rough. Alright, um, I'm gonna go ahead and antidote, or, you know, let's just. I don't actually know my way through this forest. Misty Seed? Can only be used once. Boost the power of moves, but at the cost of some HP each hit. That's actually really good. Dead end. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm going. That was a dead end, which means this entire direction's a dead end, which means I gotta go this way. Um, let's just hug all the way over, I guess. Mental herb. Okay, cool. Um, I think we just skipped some bushes back there. Ooh. I didn't want to do that. Oh, you can find stun fisks in the grass here. That's... All right. Run. Oh, I think I'm actually supposed to cross that bridge. Ooh, Stunfisk. I feel like I would have remembered the Stunfisk in this area. Whoa, wait, no, wait, what? I don't wanna go talk to Hop just yet.
I'm actually trying to make sure I'm uh, properly equipped and prepared. That's what I wanted. Phantom Force. And I believe... I should have just gone up. I don't know why I did just go up. Oh. Phantom Force, 9100 physical. Oh, what? Tim can't learn it? I was hoping Tim could learn it. Because that would have been powerful. Alright, Hop. Take me away. What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. Oh no, it's real foggy. It's like a weird opera. Do 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 do. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go! Hop! Alright, let's go. Oh. Well, apparently I can fish here, but I can't uh, bike right here. I believe we eventually enter into the next area. Yeah, okay, right here. So this is officially the new area. I don't know what kind of encounters I can actually get in this new area. How much there actually is in this new area. Can I get an encounter? Oh, maybe it doesn't even count as a new area. Alright, well, that's fine. Then that means our last encounter was, in fact, hit on top. At least for now. What do you guys think? Do I keep the legendaries or do I trade them? I wanted to go for the shield. <laughs> It'd be cool if it did like, actually like give you a choice, you know, like you weren't stuck on which one it was based on which game you bought. But then they'd be kind of pointless to release the two different games and try and get people to buy two different versions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's a pretty smart business model, if you ask me. Yeah, flying taxi, let's go. I think I still technically have one encounter in the first town that I never ended up getting because it wouldn't pop up for me. So I think I still have that and I think I still have technically one in that last area. Let's go. Let's go. It's time for Russ to do this. I think we get one of our first encounters here. Oh, this lady. Is she going to stop me? Make me fight her again? I think she is. Oh, well, I guess not. Okay, I'll help him. I didn't want to... I didn't want to talk to her like three times in a row. Okay, stop. Energy plant. Do I get an encounter in here? I mean, technically, yeah, I get that encounter. Right there.
What is all this? We need to help Lee. Oh boy. He's talking a bunch of nonsense, nonsense. And honestly, I'm just waiting to kick your. Oh, okay. Well, I should have had. I should have had Leon in front. Marco's Cosmos robe. Rose. A scavalier. Okay, well, it's Bug. Bug and Steel. I don't think I've ever actually fought one of these, so I don't know what I can do to it. Um, yeah, definitely have not. Let's uh, drill run, maybe? Okay, neutral. Entirely too tough. Don't you think that's unfair? Mega, are we weak to bug? No, but that's still a mega horn. Guzma's emergency exit comes out, gets us out of there. Just for us to send in Leon. Actually, having Guzma in front isn't always a bad idea. If I gave him something that stopped him from getting O-code, he'd always emergency exit first before getting knocked out. We'll flamethrower this bug. Four times effective. Just like uh, Durant. You guys hear the music? Oh, boy's gonna level so slowly. Alright, so he sends out a clean clank because he wants to electric type me. I don't want that to happen, so I'm gonna overheat to make sure that clean clank can't electric me. I don't like being electric. Electric. Did. <laughs> Words are hard. Alright, Leon's 61, Tim's 58. Perserker. That's just straight steel, bud. We do have lowered <coughs> special attack at this point, though. Lee avoids the attack. We get to drop another one of these. Pam's level 60, boy's level 40. Oh boy, boy. Uh, Ferrothorn. Not a great choice. Four times super effective here. Still survives, though. Uh, that's not ghost type, though. Shouldn't Doesn't curse do damage to it? Speed fell. Attack rose. And defense rose. All right, well, I'll hit it with another fire flamethrower here. Then we're going to Dynamax next turn because I am not risking losing our boy here. And I think... I don't know if I fought one of what he has for his Dynamax yet. I really don't know. But I think it's possible for them to have Rock-type moves. And if they do, I'd rather have as much HP as I could possibly have here. Kaparaja. So yeah, never fought one. We'll go with the first Max Flare, then we'll do the second Max Flare. The Overheat Max Flare. Ooh boy, okay. Leon's not taking none of it. of this Kaparaja. Oh boy, okay, here we go. That wasn't a lot of damage, boys. But we did get the uh, sunlight up. Oh, he's going for a max Mindstorm. Um, ow, but not, not what I was afraid of. So he went and turned the battlefield weird which I actually, I literally don't know what it does. But I think we go for this one now. 
which is a stronger max player, and we win. Okay. I was actually scared I was going to lose Leon there. Clapping his hands. Most impressive, Tim. I wouldn't expect anything less from Tounder endorsed by the strongest champion ever to grace our beloved of Galar region. I really do wish I could have seen the bat championship match between you two, and I'm terribly sorry to have ruined the whole gym challenge and everything. It's too bad, but it can't be helped. In order to solve energy issues as soon as possible, we wake an Eternatus, but we couldn't control it. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of banning the match. Indeed, just like a knight in shining armor to come and rescue the princess from a dragon. You're not the princess, Rose. Yeah, but I think I can stop talking now, please, as you continue talking. Okay. However, I believe... We'll see. If I don't get a heal right before the fight, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I wanted to move faster. I'm going to go ahead and uh, heal up right out here. So let's hear. Okay, never mind. We're just going to go ahead and heal up because Guzma took some damage. Leon took some damage. Heal everyone up. Oh boy. Yep, let's go. All right. It's looking so sternly at it, like, mm. Babe. What? Um, yeah, Leon. Alright, Eternatus has appeared. So this is going to be the last fight of this episode. Unfortunately, it's going to make this episode run like an hour, and I have no choice in the... the... everything. I can't throw a Pokeball now. Okay. I don't actually know what Eternatus is weak to. It's Poison Dragon, right? I think we're going to go, we're going to test some stuff out. We're going to go for the Stab X Scissor. He's going for Cross Poison. We resist, which is good. X Scissor. He resists, which is not good. Um, maybe a Drill Run. Dynamax Cannon is Dragon type, which is why I didn't want to swap out right away, because I was a little afraid of what would Oh, Guzma, emergency exit. Get out of there. Um, I think we can send in Tim, hit it with an ice punch to help deal with that issue. We're exerting our pressure. So hit it with an ice punch. Um, Dragon Pulse should be... F wow, fine. Ice punch does nothing um, I think I think I go to Leon here 
I think I go to Leon. So unless he has a rock move, which I don't believe a Tornadus does. We're fine. Cross poison. We're fine. That was a crit. So we're definitely fine. Uh, we're going to... I did not want to go for the overheat. The button, like, it doesn't always read all the way through. But, okay. I wanted to go for the dragon type move. Which would have been the smart thing. Because now my special attack's down. He's going to hit us with the Dynamax Cannon. Uh, I'm scared. That much? Well, that was Leon going down. I'm gonna go for a Mega Kick. Pam's powerful. Dude! This is so much damage! I mean, we got it now, but why? I think we're immediately forcing the next fight, though. And Leon's dead. Yeah, I think I'm immediately forcing this next fight. I don't know. I'm gonna check and see. Yeah, we are immediately forced in this next fight, so... And I think he healed up everyone. I, I wrote down that Leon died, so I didn't forget. At least I hope he healed up everyone, because Guzma is out front. Okay, so we did get healed up. Honestly, I'm going to start with setting up. Okay, well, never mind. I can't even set up. Yeah, you forgot about those items we 100% grabbed. Might be old and rusted, but there's got to be some use to it. Yeah, uh-huh. I wonder what the use could possibly be for that item that we got from the slumbering wheel. No way, the two rocks in the middle of the water were the grave sites for the two legendary Pokemon that were talking to us throughout the entire game? Wild. <laughs> and then they do like a teleport out. They TP'd. Um. I mean, they do have a really cool entrance. They just kind of jump in like, yo, bro. Only the power of the two of them combined can make the dog super powered. Whack. Is that like a mega evolution? Oh, or maybe like a primeval? Like Ground and Kyogre have the primeval forms? My son wants food, so he's talking to his mom through the baby gate. Like, mom, feed me. And she's working on it. Give me just a second. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, 
I think we can afford to set up. We're gonna go for this hit. He's using Howl. Very nice. Raise all our attack. Light screen. Uh, why are you attacking? Okay, well. That's not really fair, is it? Well, then Pam comes out. Even though I know it'd be easier to go into Tim, but Tim did not take a hit very well last time, so. Yep, Hop. That's right, Hop. That is correct. We can now actually hurt it. What am I using? <laughs> I was just mashing A, wasn't paying any attention. All right, we hurt a Tornadus a lot with that. Behemoth Bash, this one's the one that's super effective, I think, because of Steel. Oh no, I was wrong. Okay, well. There you go, I wouldn't do it, but. Max Flare. That is super effective on him, because he's steel. Right, okay. Okay, um, we swapped to Pam. I think, obviously, Heavy Slam probably did nothing. Wow. Um, super, nah, super power lowers my defense. Yeah, I'm gonna go for super power. I'm gonna go for the super power. I don't wanna EQ. We're mind on Pam. Whoa! Hey, calm down. Ooh. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. The bull's double edging. My video just got real choppy for some reason. A tornadus. I think I'm gonna go for an EQ. I think we should be fine with using an EQ at this point. Behemoth Bash. Up wool takes takes a licking. Double's all right though. <laughs> well, now it's not. It just killed itself. Uh, we're gonna earthquake. I would have killed it anyway. I think. Uh, Zashin and Zamazanta are taking a beating. Hop sent out Snorlax. Um, I'm honestly just gonna. I'm gonna mega kick. I'm not doing much to it anyway. Zashin's Sacred Sword did nothing. Zamazenta's Crunch did a little bit more. I was kind of hoping they would actually finish off this fight, but I think they want me to do it. 
max ooze on Snorlax. Okay, that's fine. Special attack rose for mega kicking. Does like nothing. There's like nothing I can do to actually hurt this thing. <sighs> All right. Light screen wore off. That's not good. We're gonna mega kick again. Zacian's howling to raise all our attack stat. Um, Zamazanta goes down. Or Zacian, sorry. We're gonna mega kick, and we're gonna finish off. Try to catch Eternatus now. Yeah, I'll try. Do you think it's pretty heavy? I'd imagine so, it looked pretty big. I'm gonna try a heavy ball. I think that'd be cool just to catch it in a heavy ball. Nice. Okay. And they howl at the sun or the purple sky. Nope, the sun. Okay. And then they jump into the sun. Because why not? Why wouldn't a Pokemon just jump into the sun? Back in Winden. Three days later. <laughs> One second. Okay, so Chairman Rose turns blah 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 blah. Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. Who did he turn himself into? I thought he was like the I don't know, the leader figure of the entire Galar region. But it's all okay. Lots of talking. And then here we are. This is where we're going to end this episode of our Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke challenge today. Um, yeah, we're going to take the King's Rock. Leon died, so he has to go into this box now. And our Leon replacement is... Brock. Our level 8. Now we also caught a Tornadus, which has to have a nickname put on, but... Um, I think he's going to be our swap out here. I don't know. I'll rearrange all this stuff. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode of our Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke Challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to be checking out and leveling up Brock and Boy, getting them up to speed at least, level 56, paired with Guzma. Um, and then, or maybe, maybe I'll go lower, maybe 54. But uh, we will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you have enjoyed.